Living longer, living healthier, living better than ever before. Welcome to Mountain Pacific's Healthy Living for Life, a weekly series that gives you the information, education, and expert insight you need to become an active participant in today's ever-changing healthcare climate. Here now is today's program host. Are your closets, garage, basement, attic, or other rooms in your house bursting at the seams? Maybe you've meant to clean out and declutter your home, but you think you might need some of those things later, or you have trouble letting go of belongings with sentimental value, or you just don't know where to start. Welcome to Healthy Living for Life, a show dedicated to helping you do just that. I'm your host, Beth Brown. Today we talk about how to get your house in order and why you should do it sooner rather than later. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Joining us first thing this morning is Ann Nagel from Organize with Ann, who has 13 years experience helping folks get their houses in order. Ann, thanks for being here with us this morning. Thank you, Beth. So why do we hold on to things, even if they're things that we don't use very often or uh, ever for that matter? <laughs> why do we hold on to those things? Well, sometimes it's just a well-grained habit. And people have grown up in households where they don't get rid of anything right and they think of it as a waste you know if you get rid of something and also some people keep things because they have a sentimental value and it's hard to get rid of those or their gifts and they were expensive and i hear that a lot you know they can't possibly get rid of it because it costs so much so they want to keep it and i love this one i might <laughs> need it someday mm -hmm. i hear that so often and other reasons is because they're just overwhelmed and they don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. So can having that kind of clutter in your home, uh, can that actually hurt your health or your well-being? Oh, definitely. You can imagine how stressful it must be. Um, more so for some people than others. And you might have poor eating habits. If your kitchen counters are full of clutter, of course, there's no place to fix food. You might just microwave everything. Mm -hmm. And poor mental health. And of course, my favorite is chaos, creates chaos, can't have anyone over syndrome. <laughs> and this just means you're afraid to open up the front door to anyone. You live in fear that somebody's gonna drop by. And there are probably other hazards too with dust and mold and those kind of things. Oh yes, I worked with a hoarder one time who actually had moldy books beside her because they had gotten wet and she was laying on the bed on oxygen. Oh gosh. So yes, it, it, dust and dander and everything else, you know, you don't know what's lurking under those piles. Sure. And then also just tripping hazards, that's something oh, for older yeah. folks to be worried about too. So some people might say their possessions, they aren't clutter to them. They're things that they want to hold on to and they actually mm -hmm. contribute to their sense of home. Are they just kidding themselves? <laughs> You've heard the old adage, one person's trash is another person's treasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's happened here too. So you have to look at how much space you have. If you're living in a two bedroom apartment versus a five bedroom home with a three car garage and a full basement, it's going to make a difference, you know, how cluttered your house looks, too. And by the way, I've been in a five bedroom house that's very cluttered, <laughs> so that doesn't even cure it. So some people can't define what clutter means to you or what clutter is to you. And it's about balance. If you can't, if your house can't handle or storage can't handle, say, 24 rolls of toilet paper, then buy six rolls instead. Mm -hmm. And remember, they call them stores for a reason. They store the stuff so you don't have to. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So we should probably point out, you mentioned hoarding earlier. Hoarding yes. is actually different from clutter. Can you talk about the difference there of what hoarding really is? Well, hoarding is totally different from clutter. And I've been in homes that are cluttered. And it's, some people will ask me, am I a hoarder? I mean, they're afraid they're becoming a hoarder. <laughs> right. And I say, not even close because I've been in a few homes and I've seen the pathways. I mean, that's what a hoarder does. They collect, it's an excessive collection of things that they can't use, don't want really, uh, but they feel like they just have to collect these things. One gal had a collection of, uh, it was actually clothes with the tags still on them. Mm -hmm. And so she hadn't worn them. And of course, you just have pathways going through the house. And it gets to the point, often where you can't even use your kitchen or your bathroom and you your bed you have you know a little space that you can sleep on the bed because everything else is full of clutter so it's totally totally different uh, it's actually a mental illness 
And it's hard to put a number, a small amount of people have it. And it's hard to put a number to it, a percentage. I've heard two to five percent, but let's face it, hoarders are not gonna tell you that they're hoarders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, yeah. they hide in their sure. homes, unfortunately. And many people who live with some mess or clutter in their home, well, di different people are comfortable with different amounts of clutter. So to that end then, if clutter is different for different people, how do you know when it's time to do something about it? <laughs> okay, you, you have the, you pretty much know inside that something is wrong here, but there are, I call them red flags, that you can look at, like for instance, are you always buying things, duplicate things of things that you already have, but you can't find them? Are you always looking for, it's usually keys and glasses, <laughs> that's what people mm -hmm. lose a lot, but you can't find them. Uh, are you late paying your bills? Now this is an important one. Um, what I do with people when I go in is I give them a red file folder and a green file folder. The red file folder, because they don't even want to open their mail. There's no place to put it, so they just lay it down. There's no specific home for it. So the red file folder is for action. That's uh, making phone calls, running errands, whatever. Green file folder is for your bills. And that's where you put all your bills. One gal recently had me make another one that was for um, collections because she had so many collection agencies after her because she wasn't paying her bills on time because she wasn't opening the bills. Mm -hmm. So it kind of all goes together. And the other one is you have a catch-all room, a room that you would embar be embarrassed for anyone else to see. The public areas of the house, um, this would be like the living room, dining room, kitchen, might look great, just don't look in the kitchen cabinets, <laughs> but there's that one room and it's usually the home office, too many papers, or the garage, which you have turned into your own personal landfill while your expensive car sits out on the driveway. So we're about out of time, but just really quickly, are there times when people should really think it's time to declutter? Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, empty nesters is one. Kids move away. You don't want to take care of the big house, all that stuff. Another one is when you're moving. Uh, declutter before you move. Okay. Don't do it after because you're just moving things that you're going to get rid of anyway. And as you all get older, you might want to look at your things and approach it with the attitude of giving things away to your heirs before you die. Then you can see how much they enjoy it and appreciate it. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, And We are out of time and need to take a quick break, but decluttering can be overwhelming when you don't know where or how to start and can cause people to give up before they even begin. But we have some tips right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>